So you want to do the Tower of Trials, but you don't know what it's about. Alright, so there's a few things you should know about the Tower of Trials. The first thing is that it unlocks in Chapter 6, so that's kind of cool. The second thing is that you get one relay ticket each real-world day, which is kind of random. But that's what controls your relay tickets. I don't know why that is. That's apparently how it is. I'm outsourcing that information. I'm just, like me personally, I've been playing this game for around, you know, since launch, so... I probably have gotten one relay ticket a day, uh, but that aside from that, how does it work and what does it do? So what it does <clears throat> is it's a series of three battles, right? That increase in difficulty. And when you go to do these battles, it consumes a relay ticket. And if a unit dies in these battles, they don't die permanently, even on classic mode. This is like a mock battle. So like you can sack units if you have to. Uh, the whole point of this is you get all of the units involved XP per completed tier. So you have tier one, two, and three. And like the relay, you know, there's three stages. First one's easiest, second one is moderate, third one is usually the hardest. And when you go to do a relay, it tells you uh, what bonus materials you can get. So I've just done the mountain peak so far. I've actually beaten like a few level one and twos and then just left because I just got bored because it's just killing enemies. And I just had other things I wanted to do, like beat Paralog. So um, it is a bit of a time investment because it's essentially like doing a skirmish. Now, you, the only materials you get are the crystals, which are used to upgrade engage weapons. So when you go engage, when you pop an engage ring, you can use these weapons. And, you know, the crystals allow you to upgrade the weapons that you get when you can engage. So that's the main point. You also get some XP. Uh, you definitely get more XP from doing paralogs and skirmishes, for sure. But you do get, like, each unit gets a little bit of XP. Now that being said, so, like, let's go to do this battle. Uh, so what are the differences between these? So the difficulty scales the stats. I did difficulty 35, and it really was not that bad. It was actually, like, moderately easy, and I'm on, like, chapter 24. So if you're in the end game, you can easily do difficulty 30. The difference between the difficulties, it just scales the amount of orbs you get, crystals. You can see there it says 1 to 15. And as you scale up and down, you get more or less crystals. That max, you get 3 to 20, so you're guaranteed to get 3. I don't like that there's ranges, um, <laughs> but whatever, what are you going to do? Uh, so you just get like a random amount. It kind of encourages you to do it more to upgrade your engage weapons you actually have to go to the ring chamber oh yeah one thing i should say you get max xp at difficulty 16 to 20 and anything higher than that gives you max xp and then increasing it beyond that gives you orbs so if you just want to beat it as fast as humanly possible put it on 16 run a bunch of power units and just like kill everything really quickly and that will get you still some orbs but it'll be significantly easier. Honestly, on difficulty 35, I found I was like one rounding everything, so it's really not that bad. Um, you know, it, it does, it did take me like 40 minutes, just, and not even because I was playing slow, like I turned combat animations off, I was playing reasonably fast. Just literally killing everything on the map quickly. <laughs> All right, so once you get your orbs, you can go to the ring chamber, and then you can actually upgrade your weapons, your engage weapons. Now these are weapons you can only use while engaged. So this is, this is exclusive, so you go to the Engage Weapons category, you go to Augment, and you can see here I can upgrade Marth's weapons. And the upgrades are actually pretty substantial, so if you want to go ahead and grind these out, you can. This will give you an objective advantage in combat. You can see all of the orbs I got from doing just one relay. Uh, it's not a bad amount, it's like you get a decent amount of orbs. Um, I think it's one... It's like 1 to 16 or whatever, or like 1 to whatever the number is per orb. Because I seem to have gotten a minimum of 1 of each orb. So it could be the case that you could get like 3 to, like if you do level 40, you get 3 to 20. So if you're if you're just trying to get orbs, you should just do the max level. Um, and pick a thing that you find easy. Because each one has different preset maps, right? So you just run through the maps, beat the maps. You get, you get the orbs, get a little bit of XP. But upgrading, you can see here, this upgrade actually increases the damage by four, like the might. And we can check out, like, like if you can upgrade Mercurius, this increases 
doubles user doubles user experience. So if you upgrade this, this would be objectively a good idea. So that when you pop Marth and you kill things, it's his best weapon and it doubles your XP. So there's definitely upside to this. The reason why I avoided it is it's just time consuming. <laughs> I'll show like a quick little battle. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. I'll just like show it as a demo and we'll check out level 40 because I'm sure you wanna know how hard those enemies are. And I do too, so we'll we'll discover this together. But 35 was not bad. And I might even just run five units and do a death ball. Cause that's that's probably all you need really. A lot of the, some of them they swarm you, some of them you like start off split up, they're all different. So we'll go to the Tower of Trials, pretty simple. Okay, for the online ones, I don't know that you get rewards for those. I don't have Switch Online. I'm not paying 10 bucks a month to <laughs> play with other players. <laughs> Alright, so let's do... I know this one. I just did this one, so let's do this one. So let's do difficulty 40. Let's see how hard the enemies are at 40. They might be crazy, I don't know. But I doubt it. They're probably just decent. And I believe if you leave, it refunds your relay ticket. So if you just, like, peace out... All right, so let's go to Swap Spaces. Let's check out their levels and stats. 26 speed, 32 speed. Oh, these are actual enemies. Okay, these are actual 25 res, 20s and defenses. These enemies are actually pretty tough. So this could be difficult to kill all these. Like, actually. Yeah, this one actually could be hard. Maybe the, maybe the maps are randomized. This is a different starting map than what I had last time. So I guess the maps are randomized to some degree. Yeah, some of these enemies are actually pretty difficult to kill. So it looks like the max level is a little bit hard. Uh, now, if I were to try to tank this and just run five units, I could try that really quick, just as a demo, just to see how, how difficult it is. All right, I'd run these. And then I would do something like this. All right, let's just see what let's just see how far we can get for like two minutes you probably know what i'm gonna do <laughs> you you already know i can tell you you know what i'm gonna what i'm up to here i'm just your knight's command okay and then do this. one of these oh let me calculate something really quick Let's see. Okay, I can't kill that one. We'll kill an archer. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see if we tank this just to get a feel for how hard these ones are. I'll try to thin their numbers on the way in. It's always good to thin numbers. She should be really she should be on the other side. Alright, and then Hortensia can actually do this. You can use Cancer to increase your mobility. I can use Elwind here for a little bit of extra damage. Griffin Knights have high res, so you're not going to hit very hard on them. Okay, Whatever you, you... Ask. you kill anything? No. She can stab a guy, but she'll just chill out. All right, let's see if we tank this. Let's see how difficult level 40 is. This is really just to demonstrate. All right, so that doesn't double me. I kill it. Yeah, they seem to just go for the... So the death ball strategy seems to work very well. It might be the case that this beats it easily. Feel free to use this. It's just uh, Lucina plus same unit type, or you could also use uh, Key Master or a Key Adapt or whatever. They have the 100% like nullification. You need high speed units or same or higher speed than enemies, and you need the nullification of... Um, like the 100% trigger on Lucina Bond Shield. All right, now that we have some enemies, so we Bond Shield again. Uh, what could we do here? One, two, three. All right, check this out. <laughs> let's see. Let's see how effective this is, if at all. So override, Rider's Bane. Oh, really? That's not the thing that kills them. What does? Or maybe attacking it kills it. Yeah. Now she can equip Rider's Bane. She might as well do this. Then go here. And then I can barely not kill this. 
I could pop Engage to kill it. So you can kind of get a feel for the difficulty. So this is like my best units, having done most of the Paralogs, Chapter 24 Maddening. So pretty end game, unless you have a better strategy, which you might. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, all right, check this out. I can just kill this Archer with Alacrity. Pretty sick. And then she could probably kill this thing right here. Yeah, if that 80% hits, it missed. All right, now she's going to get punished for that. <laughs> I can always... You, you still have pulses, too, so... And if a unit dies, they don't actually die, so it's fine. But with Bonded Shield, as long as you don't get doubled and they don't have follow-up attacks or chain attacks, you tank literally everything. And if you have, like, Lucina's Paralog done, it lasts longer if the bond level's high enough. So it's just pure upside, you just kill almost everything <laughs> easily. Tanking everything as well. Yeah, look at that. It's crazy. It's absolutely nuts. But that's pretty much it for relays. They're mostly just used to upgrade engage weapons to get a little bit of extra XP. And, you know, maybe kill some time if you just want to do some extra content. They do have different maps from other, like they're not like reused maps as far as I can tell. They really went the extra mile with, with paralogs and the extra maps in this game. So it's, it's like new content. So it's something to do as well. And then for the online modes, there's a co-op mode and then there's a mode where you play against someone else's team, but they don't control it and it's AI controlled. So those are the other modes. I don't know that those give rewards. If someone does drop a comment, I don't have to switch online. So that's it for this one. Thanks for checking this out. Peace.